Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are following me on Instagram, then you know in just a few short days, I will be in Iceland. That's right, of all the places I could go, Iceland. And I'm so, so, so excited. So this video this week is gonna be sharing what exactly I plan to wear on my trip to Iceland because this is my first ever, besides going home to Wisconsin, cold vacation. So it definitely threw me for a little bit of a loop and I know for a lot of people they're kind of unsure what to pack, you wanna look cute but you wanna be functional. And a lot of you really loved my cruise looks and that lookbook so I decided why not do something similar for Iceland. So without further ado, I will talk kind of as we go through the video, let you know what I plan to do, why I chose the pieces I chose. So let's get into it. We actually leave really late on Tuesday night and we'll be arriving Wednesday morning in Iceland around 6 a.m. Our itinerary for the day includes open sea fishing and the Blue Lagoon. I decided for the sake of packing to go ahead and wear my bulkier items on the plane. That means these really chunky Uggs and my really, really big Bork coat. I then opted to layer because I don't like to sweat a lot. So I have a sleeveless top underneath my sweater because my sweater is also very bulky but it's something I can take on and off as I need. And then I just put on my very comfy mom jeans that are super loose and have some space so if I do feel bloated, I will be comfortable still. For day two, we are going to do the golden circle and I'm so, so, so excited. So what I decided to do was layer up this neutral look because I wanted something that would stand out against the very green backgrounds that I was going to be against and all the nature scenes. So I went with these heavier boots, obviously to protect my feet, these thicker cream pants that I can layer on leggings underneath. And of course I'm layering these tops and these jackets just for added warmth, but I can take things off as I need. <laughs> For the third day, we are headed down south to see the black beach and some other things. I'm really excited. Again, I really wanted my outfits to have contrast, so I went with this really comfortable sweater dress that I can go ahead and layer leggings underneath and tall socks, along with these boots and the matching Borg jacket. Again, just to have that contrast of the cream on this black beach, I'm so excited for how that look is going to turn out. And I have a different look that I don't want to share with you guys just yet because I think it'll really, really be awesome, a little bit more editorial and a little bit different from what I usually do. For the fourth day, we are actually headed to a place that I cannot pronounce, but it's a little bit further south, and I'm so excited because it's going to be a little bit of a hike up to this beautiful scenery and this green cliffs and this water cutting through and I, again, really just wanted to stand out. I didn't want to wear greens, I didn't want to wear blues and so I decided that this all white look would be so fun, so easy and comfortable. This super stretchy denim is perfect and again, layering my tops as I need and this extra puffy jacket if it's really cold on the hike. <laughs> So the next day we're going to be doing a lot of driving, about five hours to head up north actually to the Snail Foss, and I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, Peninsula. So I decided to just go with an all black look, super easy and comfortable for a long day in the car, stop, take some cute pictures in whatever cities and towns we feel like, and not even really have to worry about that kind of stuff because there really wasn't going to be a lot of sightseeing that day. <music> For our last full day, we're gonna spend it in that Upper Peninsula area. I'm so excited. I decided to go for a more rugged, all-American outdoor look with this denim jumpsuit. It's super comfortable, and again, I can easily layer turtlenecks and leggings underneath, which makes it super easy. And again, I can add whatever jacket I feel comfortable with. It's actually a really versatile outfit. <laughs> Our last day, we are there for the majority of the day. We don't leave until five. So I'm probably gonna wear something similar to the outfit that I flew in in because again, packing purposes, I don't wanna have to try and stuff everything in 
that I didn't have to the first time around. So instead of the jeans, I'm gonna go with these khaki pants, but it gives it still a new look while being technically the same type of outfit, still very comfortable and still very chic for the airport. So that's it guys. As you can see, I kept the color palette really neutral because it will make it so much easier to mix and match in case some of the outfits just aren't what I'm feeling that day. Any of those turtlenecks can go with any of those bottoms and any of those bottoms can go with any of those jackets. So I actually have a lot more outfits than the ones that you guys saw. What I didn't share obviously is the swimsuit I'll be wearing to the Blue Lagoon and any PJs. I just felt like you guys didn't really need to see that. But if that is something you weirdly want to see, go ahead and comment below. If you have been to Iceland, I would love any recommendations you have. Hit me up on my Instagram at LilMissJBStyle. Leave them in the comments. Otherwise, guys, I will be out of office for the next couple of weeks. I get back on the 18th, so look forward to a recap of my whole trip, all the things I did, how the looks came out by the end of the month. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.